Good morning, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Lauren. We're two of Festival's registered dietitians. We're joining you today from our kitchen, and we are talking about one of our favorite produce picks, avocados. Lauren, seriously, this is one of my favorite fruits, so I'm excited for all of the stuff that you're going to share with us. Wonderful, I love avocados too, and they're really one of those super nutritious fruits. So they're sodium and cholesterol free, mm -hmm. and then they're packed with tons of great nutrients, like heart healthy fats, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, fiber, so really they are just super good for you. Awesome, and you can use them in a lot of different things, but how do you pick them out when you go to the grocery store? Yes, yeah, so the great thing about avocados is that they're always in season, so they're always available. This is a matter of finding a ripe one in the store. Which we actually had trouble with today. Um, we didn't find the most ripe ones at the store, so how would we ripen them at home if we're trying to speed up that process? Right, so if you don't find a ripe one at the store, which you would know if it's right, if it's soft to the touch, and a little bit darker than the mm -hmm. other ones. However, if you have a more unripe one, kind of like this one, it's pretty green and pretty hard. What you can do is you can put it actually in a brown paper bag, seal it up, put it on your counter for about two to five days, depending on just how unripe it is. Mm -hmm. um, and even to speed it up more, you can throw in an apple or banana. The more apples and bananas you throw in, the faster it'll ripen, which is really a cool trick. It is. And Bananas are my favorite, especially if the banana is nice and ripe, um, because the gases that it's throwing off are all trapped in the bag. So it was about two days to take a very green avocado to are ready for meal prep. Yes, yeah, so it's super convenient, especially if you run in like we did today, you mm -hmm. can find a perfectly ripe one. Excellent. So when you find a ripe one, like this one is pretty good that we have mm -hmm. at home, you're ready to use it. Um, if you do find one that's ripe and you want to use it a couple days later, you can actually put it in your refrigerator for about two days, take it out, and then use it. Yeah. Today we're going to use it right away. Um, so how to get the fruit out from inside, simply make a slit all the way around, just slicing it with a knife around lengthwise. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do, do you just kind of want to twist it, rotate it. It'll open right up just like this. And then you've got the pit inside there. Uh -huh. So in order to get the pit out, you just take a spoon, kind of scoop it out, peel the skin off um, with your thumbs, and then you're ready to go and you've got the full fruit. All right, so one thing I will say, I like to leave the pit in one side because it actually helps if, for storing purposes later. If you don't use one half, it doesn't brown. Oh, really. that's great. Yeah. I didn't know that. I learned that from the California Avocado Commission. So oh, cool. It well, has to be true, right? Yeah, yeah I definitely. actually tried it at home as well. Oh, well, good. Um, so the great thing about avocados, like we said, is that you can use them in so many mm -hmm. different recipes. So you can use them in smoothies, in different Mexican recipes. And today we have a, a couple of my very favorites. Awesome. <clears throat> so this is a great, um, excuse me, <clears throat> this is a really great appetizer. Sure. Um, so this is uh, cucumber cups is like what we like to call them. So it's an English cucumber sliced up. We scooped out the centers with the melon ball or you can just use a spoon. And then we're filling it with guacamole. Awesome. So we made the guacamole of course with the avocados. We put it in here in this little bag. So you just created a piping bag from a regular Ziploc bag. Yes, again, super simple. So we just sliced out um, a little cut at the end here. We're just going to kind of fill them. Squeeze it in. Yeah. Well, and the beautiful thing is because it's the guacamole, there's typically lemon juice in there. So that's going to help it from getting too brown. So yes. it is one of those things you wouldn't want to put a ginormous tray of appetizers out like this. You'd kind of want to do them a little bit at a time. Um, just as an FYI, because I've been the person at home that put out too many at once, and it was a miserable fail. So hopefully you can learn from my mistake. Yes. So again, these are really cute. They're easy. They're bite-sized. They're finger foods. Um, and they're fresh. So often I think we think of finger foods, and there's something you know either on a chip or whatever. But this is just a fun and unique way to utilize more produce. Yes. So this is a really great one. All right. Um, a couple other really good ones. You can just simply take the two halves of your avocado mm -hmm. and fill it with something. We did tuna here, um, just out of a little pouch. You can also do, you know, leftover chicken or cottage cheese. Just fill it and eat it with a spoon. Awesome. And I've actually had some people utilize this whole concept, put a little cheese on it, throw it in the oven, bake it off for five, Ooh, ten minutes. I love minutes. that. <laughs> it becomes dinner. I've also heard of grilling it. I haven't tried that yet, but I think that'd be really great. Well, I'm sure you know, it would give it a good flavor. Yes, definitely. Right. Plain avocados. Yes. So plain avocados, again, really simple. Um, just take out the pit, and then what we're going to do with this one is we're going to drizzle it. This is just a little um, balsamic vinegar, just for a little bit of flavor. You just want to kind of drizzle it. Nothing too fancy. Just to give it a little bit of flavor. That's the beautiful thing is it's not fancy, no. but it 
tastes awesome. And you could, again, actually quarter this avocado, and you can put the balsamic on it and make that an appetizer as well. Oh, I love that idea too. So with this one, it's great because these are just their own little bowls almost. So you can just take crackers or even, you know, other veggies, dip it in. We got the nice balsamic vinegar on there for some extra flavor. Really great appetizer, snack, whatnot. Wonderful. What's this? It smells awesome. Yes, yeah, so this is an avocado BLT. Um, so we kind of changed up the whole BLT recipe, and we're using a turkey bacon in this one specifically. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've got the tomato and the lettuce on there. And then we're using um, avocado slices. So Avocado in place of the typical mayo. Yes, so again, avocado's got that really rich, nutty flavor. Um, that it's perfect um, substitute for mayo. Awesome. So this recipe is actually available on our website at The Hot Dish, which is one of our blogs. And moving on to the, the guac. Of course, yeah. So everybody loves guacamole. Um, and a really simple way to make guacamole at home is, again, just take your avocado, mash it up, and then throw in the seasoning packet. So, right. so literally, two ingredients. this seasoning packet and an avocado. Yes, actually two avocados for that full seasoning packet. Okay. But again, you could do one avocado, use half it, Save the seasoning packet for later if you want to use another one. I love that. One of my little secrets is I like to chop fresh cilantro. So even though you used a seasoning packet, it makes the whole thing feel oh, that yeah. much fresher. It's a nice garnish, Excellent. too. Excellent. Well, thank you for all of the tips. Um, if you would like additional avocado inspiration, or if you're looking for other recipes, you can visit our website, festfoods.com. Just click on the health and wellness link. Thanks for talking avocados with us today. Back to you guys.